In three, two, one. Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria. Could I have you guys personally introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us you're on the band? Uh, I'm James, I play drums. I'm Danny and I sing. All right. Well guys, let's do a fun one here. Uh, <laughs> Nason Alessandra Destroy wants to know if you guys had a porn star name, what would it be? I swear we've already made these. I came up with a really good one once. Can't remember it though. You were Poon Slayer, I think. Poon Slayer? I, that used to be my, my thing. It was, I'm Danny Wallstop, I slay Poon. <laughs> <laughs> that was your thing? Yeah. What happened? I slayed Poon. No, but it, did that change? Oh. I mean, I, I thought a relationship would work and... You started having, like, standards, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was going to be a fun one. And, uh... Tell me one embarrassing fact about each other. Be brutal. About him? Yeah. Uh, he used to piss himself. Yeah. Uh, when I say used to, I'm not on about when he was a kid. <laughs> I'm on about when he was drunk. There was, a, there was a time when I'd like get so drunk and I'd wake up. It was still asleep, but just piss wherever I was. So I, like, I pissed on his laptop and in an AC unit once. And in an AC unit? Yeah, uh, we were in a hotel and I just like rolled out of bed and then just went over to the window and pissed in the AC unit you know, when I was asleep because I just did that for a time. Stop now, but uh, wow. it, was a, it was a good few months of it. My whole life is a string of embarrassing <laughs> events. I don't know if you can just single one out. Give it a go, James. Um, Which one are you going to pick? <laughs> There's so many. Uh, maybe, I don't, I don't know. That, ti that time when if you were screwing that bird in the back of the RV and she fell out your bunk. <laughs> it was just <laughs> so embarrassing for me. I jizzed, I jizzed on her back. <laughs> so funny though. Yeah, it was still great. <laughs> All right, and last form of question here. The five minute warning on YouTube wants to know, who is this Alexandria person and what, what, what exactly are we asking her? There was, a, there was never a story. Really? No, but now we've, kept, we've come up with a cartoon this this character woman that will be on our backdrop and stuff and that's Alexandria. So give me a 20 second one. Anything. What's she like? She's just hot and tattooed. Hot and tattooed? Great yeah. right in bed, no gag reflex. Uh, <laughs> she sells drugs. <laughs> and has tattoos. Yeah, and has tattoos. Alright. Cool guys, well for people who haven't heard of Asking Alexandria, why do we need to go check your band out? Oh, why not? Why <laughs> not? Uh, because we're real. We're real. Our songs are honest and they're true. And are they real? What our songs? Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah. 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 Especially the new ones. The new ones. The new ones. Are Our new album came out yesterday, so go buy it. That's exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Are you proud of it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much a catalog of self-destruction, but yeah, yeah, it came out good. I'm, I'm really proud of it. I think it's. Yeah, very good. I'm wrong. Congratulations, guys. That's great. Now, are you surprised in general at how big this has gotten? You're playing to thousands of people. You have a bus. Um, I mean, it, it was the set-out goal from the start. I mean, we've put the people just see it as we've come out of nowhere and we're all of a sudden really big. But we've put the work in. Like, it's just the only thing that's surprising is the time scale it's happened. Like, we we always wanted to be a successful band. You know what I mean? And we like we always had plans to do this sort of shit, but. We never thought it would come about in like two years. You know yeah, I mean? man. So. Here you are, so doing great, guys. Now, um, do you remember your first impressions of each other when you guys first met? <laughs> <laughs> you go first! <laughs> right, well, right. this was when Danny was a little bit more emo, to say the least, with makeup and okay. painted nails and swoop over fringe, and I was like, oh my god, this is Dan. This is the Danny I've heard about. <laughs> but, um, I was in yeah, infamous in my area. Spa MySpace. Oh, MySpace boy. name. Um, it was yeah, it was hilarious. Wow. I remember uh, you came to uh, one of the my local band shows. You came. This was when he was in Ascot Zander and I wasn't. So yeah. okay. No, I came to one of your shows before that when I was yeah. having sex with Nicks. I didn't have sex with Nicks, but when I was seeing Nicks. Oh, was it? That, I don't think I saw you at that show though. <laughs> There's my first impression of James. He's a drunk. <laughs> what was he doing? I was drunk. <laughs> Drinking <laughs> lots. Do I so was I. So. Is there anything embarrassing? Oh, I don't remember. I don't think he did back then. No. Uh, just an interesting meeting, right? Um, what do you think? I just signed my very first record deal. I'm just getting into this. Asking Alexandria would be surprised to know about the band here today. Whoa, what? Like time travel. What would a younger version of you be surprised uh. about today? Uh. 
that I ever started having relationships. Really? <laughs> yeah. That would surprise you back then? Yeah. Huh. That I play sober sometimes, because I never did that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Anything else? Uh, I don't know. That you're rock stars and you're rich and famous and touring the world? Um, touring's not as luxurious as you think it is. Yeah. It's just yeah, really... Touring is actually fucking horrible. <laughs> That would surprise if I came, if I went to pass me and was like, you're gonna fucking hate touring. It'd go, no, it's gonna be awesome. It's fucking dreadful. My, I just got changed. My nuts smell so bad right now. Uh, this is definitely a dirty, smelly um, way of life. Cramped guys everywhere. Yeah. I mean, it's better now that we've got the bus and shit. But like, oh, yeah. especially like for like if you're in a van or like, and we were in RVs and even that was like fucking pretty. Pretty harsh. So. What do you think is the biggest misconception about asking Alexandria? That we're all assholes. <laughs> Actually, Everyone, a lot of people warn me. They're like, they're assholes. A lot of people think I'm like the biggest cunt in the world. Uh huh. I'm not. I'm just not the most friendly. But I'm not like. So you're I'm not that pretty, bad. I'm a pretty bad person, but there are worse people. Okay. You're not that bad though. No. Why are you being so nice to me? Because I have no reason to not be. Because I'm not a complete asshole. <laughs> So, okay. All right. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Anytime. He's doing a nice interview with me. Um, what do you think has been your craziest tour story that you can remember? Wait, that I can remember? None. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're crazy. The ones I hear about later, lots. <laughs> what have you heard about that was crazy? Well, last night, for example, I got really drunk and I thought it was a good idea to just open a can of cider and just chuck it across the bus because I was annoyed at something so. We smashed up the whole bus like a week yeah. ago. We smashed everything. Yeah. Wow. Why would you do that? We were drunk. <laughs> ben decided like to punch the TV and then he just like, right, fuck it. Let's just destroy the TV and then... Slippery slope down from there. <laughs> so now what do you watch? <laughs> oh, we bought a new one. Okay. That's right. You can just go buy a new one. Who's the Romeo of this group? The what? The Romeo. Who's the ladies' man? Probably Ben. Probably Ben? Yeah, probably. Probably Ben. We all do all right, but Ben probably... Yeah, it's, it's because he's part woman, he knows how they think. Okay. <laughs> he's got an advantage there, huh? Yeah. Okay, do you get advice from him? No, no, because we are in a band and we're English, so it kind of... Can you teach me how to talk like that? Is there a trick? Yeah. Be from England? <laughs> oh, I'm going to give my best shot, how's that? I've definitely heard worse. Oh, okay. Good. There's, there's a guy in the Jimmy John's down the road that was actually quite good. He's like, I went in there with some of the guys from Lone Atlantis and uh, he insisted on trying to put on an accent the whole time, so it's pretty funny. All right. Now, uh, what is the weirdest thing, excuse me, what is the weirdest thing a fan has ever said to you? Um, can you carve your name into my neck and hold up a knife? <laughs> what was your response? Fuck no, you need mental help. What do you think it was? <laughs> No, wow. I didn't do that. Can you top that? No. No, no one's ever. I have the king of all no, horrifically. Do you think she was serious? Stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was this. It was this little guy in a uh, thing in New Mexico. Yeah, like he brought the knife and everything. Wow. Like he already had shit like carved into his body and stuff. It was a guy that was rocking around that wanted um wanted Danny to punch him and film it. Yeah. See what he's like, just dude, just fucking punch me. I'm gonna film it, put it on YouTube. It was like. It was just like, that's a stupid idea. Giving me tequila, I didn't tell it. <laughs> Can we scoot up here real quick? This is uh, driving me crazy here. All right, maybe just like scoot up. No, just, just, there you go. And we're back. So, um, <laughs> you guys enjoying this so far? I really worked hard on this What's interview. This? Oh, the interview? Yeah. yeah. You having fun? Yeah. All right. It's not the warmest of places, but yeah. That's right. Well, it's been worse. It's Nebraska. So, who farts the most on tour? I don't know. I is it pretty bad? Um, I don't know who farts. When you fart, it smells fucking horrid. Yeah. yeah. That's not the most. I think, I don't know. I think it's Sam. You have the worst though? I think I might have the worst. Yeah, Why do you think that is? James is pretty bad, because I have a terrible diet of liquor yeah. and not much health. He doesn't fart very often, but when he does it, it's like built up into this poisonous mushroom cloud of horribleness. And then like, I, I, I don't know. Mine smells pretty bad. You're gonna win the ladies over with this, huh? Yeah. To be honest, it's horrible, but people still have sex with us and they know these things. And I don't know why, and it probably speaks to their character in a way. <laughs> that they know all this gross, horrible shit about us as people and still have sex with us. Wow. What is the world coming to? It's, I don't know, man. 
Just because you're famous. Probably. <laughs> Keep the band, man. You need it, right? Um, if you wanted to give me a makeover, okay? Because I really want to be in Asking Alexandria. What would Loads we need to change? Tattoos. Loads of tattoos. Yeah. Okay. Anything, Anything else? You need. Boots in those jeans. Yeah. You need. Yeah. You need some, tighter jeans. Some boots. Some boots. Can I borrow yours. Uh, I have another pair. Okay. <laughs> you need. You, de you need an attitude where people are going to walk away and make rumors about you on the internet. So I should just be like. Pretend to be a fan real quick, all right? Yeah. Oh, hi, can I have a picture of you? Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, you're in, you're hired. <laughs> right, am I in? Yeah. All right, I'm in. All right. Asking Alexandria. <laughs> Woo! That would, yeah, all right, yeah. I can do that. Just convince yourself that you do live in 1982 and you're in Motley Crue and you're there. Is that what you do every night? Pretty much. All right. Life you live. Who has the prettiest autograph between the two of you? Oh, me, out of, out of us two. Yeah. Yours is a scribble. No, it's not. Mine is the prettiest. I'm telling you, you, you can decide if we get you a signed poster. Danny, sign, wait, wait, sign the air right now. Ready? Go. Just sign the air. Mine's two yeah. bits. Two bits and both parallel. I'm, I'm going go to go with Danny, dude. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's looks like shit. <laughs> no, Mine has the worst. Sam, elaborate. Sam has the worst. Oh, yeah, because yeah, at the end, it, there's like a Y, but there's no Y in his name. And it comes down and then he makes it into a smiley face and it looks like a kid's done it. Yeah, that's not very cool. Cam has a kiss in his as well, Cam's which is pretty gay. Aw, that's pretty gay. That's <laughs> pretty cool. What is the funniest rumor? You talked about this, so oh. what's the funniest rumor you've heard about yourself, Danny? Ooh, there's a, there's a I've lot. Got one for the whole band. Okay. Us, there's a rumor that us oh. and Chelsea Grin all raped a girl. Oh, but two full bands raped a girl. It was, there was two rumors, either it was in a trailer or it was in the back of the bus. Okay, which one was it? No. <laughs> 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 that is, you couldn't even fit that many people in the back of a bus, let alone rape someone whilst doing it. Like, it's so stupid. And then, like, literally, we, we went, we were in debt, like, not, not last night, because we were in Denver last night, but the, the time before that, we had rapists spray painted on our RV. I was like, so what? People actually believe that yeah. shit. Are you fucking serious? It's, it's like, like, <laughs> if we wanted to go out and have sex with a random fan, don't need to go rape people. <laughs> there are plenty of slutty girls that come to shows if we wanted to go have sex with someone. So yeah, you guys don't need to rape anyone. No. You can't rape the willing. Exactly. Exactly. Got your back, man. Yeah, it sounds really bad, but I mean, there are a lot of slutty girls that go to shows with no other intention than to fuck dudes in bands. Like, no band dude ever has a reason to go rape someone because there is always a slutty girl there to just fuck. There was, there was a girl at our meet and greet last night that, no joke, had intentionally ripped. You know, she's going to see this, right? She has sound. She can, she, she can see it. She literally intentionally ripped the pockets out of her ass and you could see her ass. I was like, love, you've. Your ass is hanging out, and she's like, should I fix it? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good voice there. We were just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. I can't. It was a spur of the moment thing. <laughs> but, uh, that was a really good imitation. Yeah, yeah. yeah she sounds just like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, describe the person, okay. Describe each other using one word. Can't be a nice word. Arsehole. There wouldn't be a nice one. Cunt. <laughs> oh, cunt. <laughs> Caveman, take your pick. <laughs> you know, normally I have to tell Vance to, to make it mean, but not for you. Oh no, we just give each of a shit all day. Alright, so how about him? Uh, infected or filthy. <laughs> 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 what about me? Oh, we don't know you very well, okay. it's hard to do. So what would it have to be? Blue. Blue? Because you're wearing blue. <laughs> <laughs> blue. <laughs> really? Well, grey and, and Purple would be mine for yours. It's red. Oh, red? It's only because I haven't washed it. Grey and pink. It's because it's unwashed. Yeah, that's my golden filter. We keep like staring at yourself again. Yeah, let's move closer. Yeah, let's just keep getting closer and closer. Just creep up on it. Yeah, we can be creepy together. Fill in the blanks. You guys ready? Something I have to do every day is... Masturbate. I was about to say the same thing as wank. Wow. Even with all the girls, you still... Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, a, it's the way of the road. My biggest pet peeve is when James gets shit face drunk and I'm sober. Like right now? <laughs> okay. No, he, he's drunk. Yeah, he will be. He will be after the show. Not, not before. Never before. So you guys go all out? 
Um, sometimes. I mean, like, bus call tonight's going to be, like, I don't know, quite a bit, a bit later because the drive's not that long, so, uh, and we've got a day off, so probably going to have a little bit of a party with the bands. Okay. But, um, like, before before we go on stage, we always keep it real together and shit, so. That's good. Well, I do, definitely. Yeah. I would never. There is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> never anything? Never say never. Okay, I'm going to fill in the blank, all right? Uh, I would never sleep with an animal. Lies! <laughs> no, I would. I mean, by. I mean, he would describe some of the girls I have slept with as animals. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty loose. Sometimes you just don't know. So, you may or may not have slept with an animal. You never know. Probably like a gorilla. Let's give me the next room, we're coming out. Danny fucks dogs. Danny. <laughs> there you go. Um, every day I get up because. I have to. So <laughs> <laughs> like five in, five p.m. No, it's usually about three. Because somebody tears me out of bed saying, "Sound check time." So they have to like drag you out of the room. Yeah, I don't like getting up. I don't like waking up at all. <laughs> Why not? Because it means I have to go through the day. If I stay asleep, I can be in my own dream world all the time. It's you great. dream about <laughs> loads of shit. It's just it's way better than the real world. <laughs> so you hate the real world. It is pretty shit. It, I, the world isn't very good, no. That's right. <laughs> um, every, okay, I'm addicted to this. It's a dangerous question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this right here? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Intoxicated. Yeah? I don't care what it is. You enjoy it? Yeah. Why do you like it so much? Because it puts me in my own little dream world. <laughs> <laughs> it's like going to dream world. Yeah. Do you ever okay, worry? Danny World. Do you ever worry about dying? No. <laughs> okay. Nah, I've been there before. Fuck okay. it. Fuck it. Um, what's something you want to? Speaking of death, what's something you want to accomplish before you die? Uh, sell a million records. Sell yeah. a million records. Like uh, one album? Yeah, I want a platinum album. I want to make a. I want to make millions of dollars. I want to. Okay, this is going to sound really weird, Now I'm going to get loads of shit for this, but I get loads of shit for everything anyway, so whatever. I want to try human meat. <laughs> I want to eat a bit of person. I'm curious, I, I try every food, like, go to, we get to travel to really crazy places in the world and try, like, intestines and eyeballs and shit, and I'll try it all, because I love food, like, food's great. So do you want to hunt down this person that you're going to no, eat? No, no, no. You just go somewhere crazy and give them something just for a little bit. Okay. Just, just like a bite. Just like a fangirl and be like, can I have some of your leg? Yeah, can I just have like a what, bit of arse or what, something? In a few days some kid's going to bring like, they're going to be fucking all limp and shit. They're going to be like, <laughs> <they're gonna> be <laughs> like half a leg and just the rest on a plate. Like char grilled. No, before I did this for you. I, it would be awesome. It, like, just, to, just so you know. Yeah, you're right. That's right. Really gonna happen. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a strong believer. You should what, try everything. What part of the body? Oh, I, I don't give a fuck. A, a nice bit. Because okay. I like steak. Not a dick, though, right? No, not dick. <laughs> the fillet of a human, though. Yeah. Where do you think the filet mignon of the human body would be? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought about it. Yeah, yeah. Must be thigh. Yeah, yeah. Piece yeah, of your nice thigh. Meaty bit. Okay. Very cool. Well, that was an interesting answer. I gotta say. Uh, Empty Oblivion 32 on Twitter wanted to know how do you guys deal with morning wood on tour? <laughs> Whack it. <laughs> you deal with it. Do what it's there to do. <laughs> That's the blunt way of putting it. Yeah. So no shame with your other bandmates? Oh no. No, help each other. <laughs> Sit in a circle, get the guy to your right. <laughs> no, we've we've got bunks. Just like wake up sound. There's internet on the bus. That's right. You can look up some porn. Get some nudies up on your phone. Boom. Yeah. That's right. Dude, that's why you hate the road, right? It's all you got. Yeah. Um, Sabrina is awesome. Give each other a soul animal. What? Animal. Like, if you, okay, what do you think Danny's soul animal is, like, in another life? Oh, shit. <laughs> the devil? <laughs> some, some kind of hell spawn beast? I don't know what your, um, fucking... What would his be? Hmm. I always, I always get like rhino. gorilla or rhino. Yeah. Gorilla, or Goril rhino. gorilla or rhino. That's that's what everyone seems to call me. Like we all have animals actually. Like Ben's is a mouse. Uh, 
Cody's got a real small little face. And then, and then Cam's is a giraffe because he's got an enormous neck. Sam's, I think, what was yours? I can't remember what you're on. I was bigger then, so now I need to think of a new one because I'm not big anymore. Oh, yeah. What would mine be? Like, if I was in a zoo, where would I belong? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Undetermined. Yeah. I know, your hair makes you think some kind of monkey. <laughs> Monkeys are good. I want a monkey. <laughs> I, I can take you. <laughs> You're gonna take me and I'll be your monkey? Yeah. Like, going to like, teach them to do stuff and it's like, get me drinks and shit. I'm, just, I'm a little monkey, it's like, hey, get me a beer. I'm, yeah, you could train me, I'm pretty... <laughs> <laughs> Pops it, literally gives it to you open and shit. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so, don't eat me though. No, I'm not gonna eat monkey. Okay. Just human. If I had a monkey, I couldn't eat one. Uh, Bailey, my parents... Okay, this is a serious question. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I can deal with it. Bailey wants to know, my parents say your music is dark and scary and I shouldn't listen to you guys. What should I tell them? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you agree? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we, we like, we it's would dark have... dark and scary. We'd, <laughs> we'd have kids that would go to school with our shirts on and shit and they'd like be kicked out and they'd be forced to go home and change it. And we'd like just be like, just wear it, just wear it. We like made like shirts and shit to be offensive and like we like go out of our way literally to offend, if you know what I mean. So it's like cause it just And look where it's got you, man. People are talking about yeah. it. Controversy is like the ultimate Like it just gets you out there, you know. There you go. It's rock and roll. It's rock and roll. Let's see. I'm trying to think. You guys enjoying this? We having a good yeah, time? Yeah. What was your uh, what's your most embarrassing childhood memory? I don't know, I was drunk for a lot of it. <laughs> Even when you were a child? How, how, how young? Like, child any, just around. anything that stands out. I can, when I was like literally in nursery school, no joke, like three or four, I can remember shitting myself. <laughs> literally, <laughs> I, can, I can remember. I can't remember doing it, but I can remember there being poo in my pants. But I was really like, I mean like, no joke, first memories, like you can actually re recall. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like really bright. I'm like staring at the sun. Yeah, sorry about that. It's alright. That's why I always like turn this way. It's like it's so bright. I'm just gonna like do this. Okay. Yeah, I'll like sort of like position myself like this so it's like you're cool. There you go. Yeah, so. just block the sun for me. Yeah. Alright. Worst tour experience ever. God. Uh, STD scares, pregnancy scares, pregnancies. <laughs> any of the above. How many people do you think you've slept with on tour? A lot. <laughs> A lot. I don't. I don't really do it anymore. But I. I, I went through. I went from. I really got them in there. <laughs> I reckon we're hitting triple figures. <laughs> oh my god! Can you top that? No, no. I, I've. I've had. I like. I keep. I use. He behaves himself. I. I've, I usually have a girlfriend. If I don't. If I don't have a girlfriend, I like. So what do you think of Danny's wife? I don't care what he does. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's just, it's as long as I don't fuck his girlfriend afterwards, he's cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> just don't talk to my girlfriend, right? Um, craziest autographs. Oh, I guess we did that one, huh? I'm gonna give you guys these real quick. Anything on there you want to ask each other? There you go. Why is your head so big? <laughs> it's not on there. <laughs> I made that up. I. <laughs> yeah. We just <laughs> keep doing that. We're just trying to get as far away as we can. Wait, didn't we do didn't we do all these? I think so. Is there anything that didn't do? You can come up with a question if you want. If I wanted to give Danny a makeover, I'd um, I'd clean him. <laughs> 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 that that'd probably be it. <laughs> how, well, how would you clean him? I wouldn't. I'd just pay someone else to do it. <laughs> be a, a real job, right? <laughs> yeah. Stop fucking lives, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not doing it. I'll pay someone else to do it for me. <laughs> we were talking about this the other day because. Uh, this fan was actually saying, oh, what's it like to be in like, a professional band and stuff? I was like, when you are like in local bands and you're starting out, you know everything. Like You make sure you know everything that's going on all the time. The second you become a pre professional, you lose all professionalism. I don't know where we're going tomorrow. I don't know what time I'm leaving. I don't know what time I'm playing. I don't know how long we're playing for. Uh, I don't know how to plug my own microphone in. I am completely honest with that. We don't know how to do our own shit, because when you become a professional band, you have other people do everything for you. Because they've done it for so long, you never... You're the laziest guy ever. But it, it's professional bands. We don't do shit. That's right. Top interview ever? We had one in Texas that was absolutely hilarious. 
the one with the bird that we just tore oh apart. God, yeah, no. She, we didn't answer any questions though. Everything we answered, we were just hitting on her in a really gross yeah, way, talking about her tits. Like, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna fucking wank and jizz on you and shit. And like. <laughs> we were talking about bukkakis and shit. Yeah. Which uh, in oh, is the paper. I'm glad you guys didn't say that to me. <laughs> well, in Japanese, I can't remember what it was. It's um. It's a furiously yeah, it's something, like, like it's a furiously wave, spurt or something. <laughs> I just know that it's furiously do it. Konnichiwa, bakuwa Brian, antawa. I don't have a fucking clue what you just said. I said, hi, my name is Brian, what's your name? I speak Japanese, by the way. I don't. Okay. Would you mind if I switch the battery real quick? Because I had one last That's thing fine. of questions. All right, you guys are good? All right. Let's just switch it real quick. Magic. Ready? Are we on? Yeah. So while Danny's gone, what do you think of Danny? <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we, we've I think we've already spilled the beans. We've, yeah, can't really say much yeah, worse. We, right? we, we don't really fuck around, so it's like we've already said pretty much what we think of each other and shit. So, <laughs> but um, do you guys have fun doing this? What interviews or touring? No, just the whole thing. I mean, you enjoy life. Mhm. Mm it's awesome. It's great. I mean, like, I, every every month or so, we get to chill with like cool bands and shit and then like every night we get to like play fucking different shows different places see the world it's like it's fucking awesome mate oh shit danny's back ah oh, dude don't say any of that he was saying the worst things about you dude he's such a shit talker <laughs> he's like danny can't perform he's he's ugly yeah, yeah. he's i've i've got the he can't perform thing a lot of times a lot of times i haven't been able to perform because <laughs> every now and again i do something stupid and get really fucked up before i show and then can't perform <laughs> and we got in trouble for it one time. Don't lose your mind. People think it's like a regular thing. It's not. That, that, that incident is gone crazy, I swear down. Yeah. Have gone. you heard about Seattle? Yeah, I heard about Seattle. Who hasn't heard about it? <laughs> exactly. What exactly happened? Got shit faced, played a show, couldn't even stand up. I don't remember any of it, I've just been told. <laughs> and people are making the biggest. People in Seattle are fine. We're like, yeah, we'll come back, play a free show, make it up for you. They're cool. It's everyone else that gives a fuck. It don't even affect them. Fuck them. How dare you do that to Seattle? It, yeah, they're like, oh, you're so disrespectful. I was like, it's one fucking time, dude. Oh. We're going back, we're making it up. Fuck you. you it's in the past, it's rock and roll, it happens. We've all done it once or twice. Like I can remember one time I got absolutely obliterated before I played. I was, <laughs> this, back, this, was back, this was back when we were literally like just starting out and I was like I was line checking my drums and I couldn't even like hit my drums. Wow. It was terrible, but like I learnt from a mistake back then, but that was before anyone really gave the fuck, you know what I mean? So I'm like, just starting to picture you like missing the drums. It was, it was fucking hilarious. He was the only person on stage too, he just walked on by himself and was <laughs> Oh, it was hilarious. Terrible. Nobody <laughs> gives a fuck about that. Nobody fucking mentions that. Because <laughs> well, no, no one gave a fuck about us back then. Or if anyone did, it was very few people. Yesterday, yesterday Ben double fuck kicked the crowd. What do your parents think about all this? I mean, the fans that have got in touch with me about it don't really care. They're like, supportive and shit. And they're like, yeah, it's cool you're coming down. I mean, it's rock and roll. You said that from the start. Like, from the start, I've been like, this is rock and roll. Like, that's who we are. Like, we are those dudes. We're not one of these fake bands that pretends to be all nicey nicey and pretends to be someone we're not. Like, this is us. Uh, do you think but your parents are proud, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> when, they, when you were born, is this what they saw you doing with your life? No, no. If, if they could go back in time, they would probably drown me in the bath. <laughs> Choke me with my own fucking umbilical cord. <laughs> my dad would kick her down the stairs. Oh my god, that's great. Now, uh, we're, you, we're talking about this, what is the inspiration behind your lyrics? Oh, we already talked about this. Uh, this album we just wrote was completely inspired at the bottom of a bottle and a bag of drugs. It was. And you're that's not, what even... the album's about. And I'm not ashamed of it, and I'm not, like, I don't regret doing it. I'd like... What's a great I'm, album. Yeah, I'm not, it's, it's a good story, like, it's literally a story of my complete downfall. A lot of people said your new album sounds different. Do you do you say uh, what do you say to the fans who miss the old Asking Alexandria? It definitely sounds different. Um, it's got like a more rocky side to things. Um, <clears throat> it's it's a bit more like metal corey in times as well. It, it's it's just like a more um, mature, more grown up way of writing an album. Ourselves in our music. We've, we've, we've found the way that we like want to like we're developing the way that we want to write, and we were like. We're setting off on the way that we're gonna like properly write music, you know what I mean? Like, we're finally completely writing songs for us. 
we're not writing songs for the people that are buying it, we're writing songs. So no regrets on this new album? Not one. Not at all. I love every single track, just as much as the other one. I, I can't even find a favourite track for me because like, I'm so proud of what it is, so I hope everyone else fucking Can I ask it. you this on the... Uh, on uh, after the Seattle thing, there was like a statement you guys released, and I think you said that you're not gonna drink anymore. <laughs> no, 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 I'm quitting getting drunk. Uh, like last night, I, I mean, I still drink way too much than uh, people should be able to drink. Like last night, we had a bottle of tequila and a bit of rum, but I was tipsy. I went shit faced. Okay. So I'm not getting stupid. I am gonna going to like rehab. It, there's been talks. It's still in debate. We don't know. Okay. And do you, do you, I mean, I know a lot of fans out there really do care about you. Are yeah. you, you know, how do you feel about people who are like, Danny, take care no, of yourself? I, yeah, I, I, I respect it and I appreciate it. Like, they're looking out for me. But, like, this is what I've done since before I can remember. So. Probably because of what I'm doing. But, <laughs> but I mean. Right now, right now it's working well. Okay. But now it's working well. If I we mean, just, I think it's, the main point is just keeping it together before you go on stage. That's the, that's the, uh. Just keeping important. it to where I can still perform and where I can still live my life and do stuff. So, you're not worried about like, yeah, okay, cool. If you guys had to compare each other to a celebrity or a superhero. Wait, do we, if we have to what? If you had to compare each other to a celebrity or a superhero, what kind of superhero would Danny be? Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm going to say celebrity, but it's, it's gone now. But when he had his big hair, it's definitely Russell Brand. <laughs> when he, he said he, loads of people said that. Yeah. Again for Mr. Bandler, but that's not like that can't really work in a box, he's cut his hair off, so I don't really know. I don't really know what superhero. What superhero would you be, Danny? <sighs> Probably a villain. Dunno. You'd be a villain. Oh me? I meant you, but yeah me. Oh, yeah, me. Yeah, me. Me. <laughs> me. Satan. <laughs> I don't know if he counts. <laughs> Satan's not a superhero. <laughs> I mean I don't know if I'd be on the good side. The dark side's way more fun. <laughs> that's right. So I'd be on the good side fighting you guys. Apparently so. Cause I'm I'm a good superhero. What superhero would I be? And we'd fight. I don't know many superheroes if I'm honest. I'd be like Spider-Man or Spider-Man. Spider-Man would work. Yeah. Yeah. Tight spandex. Yeah. Climbing walls. I can see you in spandex. We've I've got some. I've got. We and can the boots. Spandex and yes, boots. Spandex and boots. I have spandex and boots. I'm shooting boots on. You're Spider-Man. You've got to have some like, little spandex sock That's things right. and just fucking just cling onto shit. I don't have socks. I'll be like clinging to your bus later tonight. <laughs> Pretending to be Spider-Man. To be honest, with all the shit on that bus and out there, you could probably stick to the walls as it is. Oh my god. Cool guys. Uh, I think. I just want to make, whoa. Rip. Breaking shit. Breaking shit. Because uh, you're in the mindset of asking Alexander now. You're just breaking shit. I think that is about it. Anyone else want to throw out a question? Jeremy, what would be a good question? <laughs> Nate, any good questions? All right, last one. You guys ready to wrap it up with this? Yeah. If you were, <laughs> if you were in a zoo, what cage or exhibit would you belong in, or would you want to live in? If Which you would I want to live in? Yeah. Who would you want to live with at the zoo? <laughs> Who would I want to live with? Fucking okay, definitely not penguins or shit, because that's well cold. And, and not, probably not any penis plants. will get smaller. Like <laughs> snake, no snake shit, because they're like really hot. You have to be like middle of the road, just like with some like lions or some bears yes. or some shit. Just, just you know, like usual. A tiger pen would be pretty sick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can imagine that. The monkey one would be a riot. It'd be like a party all day. <laughs> Could hang out with the monkeys. Those guys have to party. Yeah, I would hang out with the monkeys. <laughs> well, you wanted a pet monkey, so. I want a pet monkey. I could have loads. Like teach them to do shit, like yeah. pick me, pick you and up, and like. It's the one I'd be least likely to get attacked in by the other animals. Yeah, like if you were like a bear or some shit, you'd just tear your face off. And they'd be like a dog pen. Yeah, as a, I'd be with the dog because no, I like dogs. Though. I love dogs. I like a fucking I don't know. If you wanted to chill, it's like a sloth thing where they're just all chilling all day, and you just like chill with them. Where do you see? That'd be good. Where do you see yourself ten years from now? <laughs> Not in this exact spot. <laughs> down, right? down, down, down. <laughs> hell. Oh wow! So we're gonna find you in hell, huh? Probably. I'll, be, I'll take it. Over. Do you believe in God? Be, no. <laughs> no. Why not? I just never have. There's no way all this shit he'd be cool with. I would be dead if there was a God. I would not be allowed to be here. <laughs> I believe in God. Oh, okay. I believe in God. So you guys are little... I'm the, I'm the only one in the band that does. Okay. Gotta, so. like, convert them. 
<laughs> There's no converting. You, get, you have to save Danny, man. I, I, He's going to hell. He's <laughs> saving. I don't. I don't believe in as strongly as like a lot of people out in America. He, think. About it. he, do, he doesn't. Like I don't care about people's beliefs. Like everyone can live their own lives and believe what they want. I just fucking hate it when people try and press it on other people. Most people are staring at you. Does that ever get weird that people like stare at you like, oh my god, it's asking no, Alexander? Attention or yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I ever lost this, like, if I wasn't famous, my personality wouldn't work. That's probably a good point. Couldn't, yeah. All right, well, guys, I think we've had quite an interview here. How would you sum up this interview in ten words? Or no? Ten words. In a sentence. In a sentence. Wild, crazy, honest. Honest? Honest. Nothing. That's a collection of words. Probably a bit of offense. Probably a bit offensive. So we were talking about eating people. You know, controversial, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> well, I think that's about it, guys. Brian Stars and Asking Alexandria. Should we do this again sometime? Definitely. Hopefully. All right. We'll try and have some more stories. Here. That's right. I will get them. So thanks, man. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. You're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. Maybe that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. I am a ninja. We need to know. What? Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the Jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's. Oh god, oh god. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, wee! <gasps> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.